let's back up a second. What we're doing here is we're looking at the competition and we're seeing if you want to be successful with an affiliate website, you need to show Google you are an expert in that specific niche. In this video, I'll teach you how to rank higher using free tools, paid tools, and I'll even give you my whole workflow with ChatGPT4. So let's get into it. Okay, let's jump into it. So I'm going to try to go as fast as humanly possible. We have a few tools. We're going to use uh, ChatGPT 3.5 and 4. We're going to use hrefs, we're going to use the Keyword Explorer as well as the Site Explorer, and we're going to use Google and the Keyword Sheeter, and we might even jump into Screaming Frog. But this whole video started with one of our subs said, look, I want to see how your strategies can work with affiliate sites. There's a lot of differences between your insurance site and an affiliate site strategy. And I said, I'll do it. Now, there is a lot of differences in an affiliate site and just a pure informational site, but there's a lot of similarities too, which we'll get into. So... This person, Computerist, has a sewing machine website, which I'm not going to do, and a chainsaw website, which we're going to do. So, first stop is the keyword cheater. This is a free method, so type in best chainsaws, start cheating, and we wait. And it's going to start to do all these derivatives, these variants of the best chainsaw. See down here, 40, 60, da-da-da. It's going to keep going. And what this does is, you see how here, in Google, it has auto-suggest. Keyword Cheater does this just automatically. It makes our life much easier. So what we could do is stop it. We can copy it. We can paste it into ChatGPT and just say, categorize these in a simple way, the best chainsaws. And all of a sudden, it kind of whittles out things we don't want, such as, you know, ch chainsaw massacre, etc. So what you could do if you're using free methods, you could say, okay, best battery operated chainsaws you can pick one of these best money chainsaws best mini chainsaws and then you can type it into google you could say let's see about best mini chainsaws so best mini chainsaws for your money and money.com is ranking for this and then popular mechanics and then fire and saw which i've never heard of that might be a good opportunity for parasitic seo um, that's for another video, but Chainsaw Guru, so a website just for chainsaws. So this is probably similar to what um, the computer is, the sub, the person that said, please do this video, has. But nonetheless, here's the issue. When you type in these keywords from using a free tool like this, we don't, we're not getting the, the long tail keywords necessarily. We don't know how they're ranking. So what we're able to do is come to hrefs, um, type in chainsaws, enter now we're going to just take a minute to look at this keyword difficulty 53 every month about 22,000 people type it in it's probably much more because hrefs is never perfect now we're going to go to match in terms we're going to go to include any word we're going to do a few variants best versus verse top uh worst let's just see and go so what this does it requires the um the search phrase to have one of those terms in it. Usually, if you have a top or a versus or what have you, you know this person is closing in on their, their purchase. They're at the bottom of the funnel, usually. They're in the research stage still. But through this, we're able to see a lot of keywords. Let's sort by keyword difficulty. Okay, this is the hardest ones, the best chainsaws. If we type this into Google, we probably are going to see the number one authority on chainsaws, and it's the spruce.com, which is a domain 90 plus website so can't compete there so what we need to do is flip it on its head keyword difficulty down the top five name brand chainsaws even this might not be too good so let's find out so i'm quickly typing it into google uh, it's consumer report that's not uh our searcher queries intent we want buyers that's kind of higher in the funnel than i want so let's keep searching until we find a good one so we're going to whittle it down a little bit more we're going to do traffic potential 100 plus that means per month all of these now have at least 100 people searching the term and i think we found one so this is the keyword research to find something you can actually rank for uh top handle chainsaws that's very specific right very specific someone type it in i want a chainsaw that has the top handle so we type it into google let's see we have amazon immediately so that's great but what if this person still wants to research a bit let's see what's next what is the advantage um, of a top handle chainsaw, Husqvarna, a brand. We have eBay, that's a good sign. So we're not getting inundated with affiliate websites saying this is the five top best um, top handle chainsaws, right? So let's keep going, let's see what we have. Husqvarna, eBay again, Husqvarna. 
looks like an opportunity. And Ahrefs also pushes this home. It's a keyword difficulty of zero. The volume is 150. Now the question becomes, how do we press into it further? Let's ask ChatGPT some common sense questions. I need to write an article on this. What are some specific things about this topic? Um, focus on the top handle aspect of a chainsaw. Include safety and other considerations a consumer they have. Let's just see what it says. Handle location at the top as opposed to the traditional. Uh, this design feature makes top handle chainsaws ideal for pruning and trimming trees. So the ideas are already flowing. When shopping for a top handle chainsaw, there are several important factors. Consider safety, power, and that's probably considerations for any chainsaw. Uh, safety, power, weight, comfort. Okay. Now, what could we do with this? Immediately, I'm thinking of how to structure a, a tiny hub on the website to support my 10 best top handle chainsaws affiliate um, page. Okay, so we're going to make this the tier one article, right? And let's say we're going to do the 10 best top handle chainsaws. We know that the competition here is not huge for this. We could do further keywords research to verify this. But now I want to have at least three articles under here that support this. So let's go back to Ahrefs and let's use, you know, the ideas that we got from ChatGPT to figure out how to build this out a little better. So we're going to come up here to the Keywords Explorer and type in top handle chainsaws. And let's see what comes up. So immediately we have zero volume keyword phrases, right? And these are great. A lot of people look at these and like, eh, I'm not going to write about it. But I would write about it um, because it's going to show your expertise. And remember, this is all about pointing to the money page of the affiliate website. So why are top handle chainsaws so expensive? There's one article. Let's go back. Still top. I don't want branded ones. Are top handle uh, chainsaws dangerous? Another one. Look, it's zero keyword difficulty volume 10. Even if it's zero to 10, I'm still into it. So this is the difference. This is the difference right here of people who just always go for the, the list of cool, the 10 best top handle chainsaws and people who actually build out content hubs. That's a huge difference in affiliate market. This is the way to do it. Let's keep going. Another great one. Why Arborist use top handle chainsaws? And we have three supporting articles for our money affiliate um, our article. So we can easily build this one out. We can easily build these out. What is the next step? I'm going out on a limb here and making an assumption that you know how to make the listicle. I'm going to say you know how to do the 10, the best, the 10 best top handle chainsaws, right? But do you know how to properly push to that article from a supporting article? So that's what we're going to write. That's what we're going to write. The next step is to grab one of these tier two articles, right? I usually name them tier one, tier two, and tier three. Um, why are top handle chainsaws so expensive? Let's come to ChatGPT. 3.5 and say write or say I am writing an article on provide an outline for this article and let's let's also see in Google if there's any competition for this keyword why are top handle chainsaws so expensive so one of the main drawbacks of top handle handle chainsaws is they're not very safe that's um, they tend to be more expensive there's the answer this is because they are designed mainly for professional use so this was from an article by firewoodforlife.com, still top handle chainsaw, what's the best choice? So it's not an article pertaining exactly to top handle chainsaws, it's just the still branded one. That means we have an opportunity to rank for this as well. Uh, the benefits of it, we can see Husqvarna is here. Can anyone use a top handle chainsaw? Proclimb.co.nz, so that's a New Zealand one. Uh, and then we have a forum. So we know that there's a little bit of volume here and we have a forum, which is awesome and that forum right there my goodness later in the video i'll grab some keywords from it i'll show you how to extract from arboristsite.com um, to find awesome keywords but let's keep going with it here's our our article outline now we're going to go to chat gpt 3.5 i am writing an article on what was it on let's go back here top handles why are top handles so expensive Here's the article outline. And then I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to say, 
Do you understand? And we're off. It's going to say, yes, I understand. Let's let it do its thing. And then we're going to make it work. Great. Here we go. It's ready. So we're going to say write section one. And there's a reason we say section one uh, in the voice of a person who has a lot of experience in this and is fun to talk to and funny and bursty, whatever bursty means, bursty. Make sure to use Markdown. And here's the special part uh, throughout. Watch this. I'm assuming that you have created, uh, remember, this is all for the computerist. If anyone else is watching, know this is, this is for the sub, uh, the person who said, please do this. So I'm assuming that you know how to do, like I said before, the 10 best top handle chainsaws. But let's even go a step further and assume that it was already created. So let's pretend we had a website called chainsawmaster.com slash best top handle chainsaws. It's this article right here. We can tell ChatGPT when we're creating these sub articles to put this in. So uh, insert this URL as rich um, in rich anchor text throughout where necessary. Now, I can show you one more trick before we move on. Remember this? This was our competition. Let's do something here. Let's use a tool. Which tool am I going to use? Uh, keywords everywhere. We're going to use analyze page content. We're going to wait for it to do its thing. And we're going to see the density of specific keywords. We're going to find the occurrences, the top occurrences of specific keywords. So let's do this. Oop, it loaded. I, I'm too impatient. I have to be more patient. Models. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, anything above 10, let's just grab. All right, let's push it to an Excel. Let's just be lazy and do it quickly. Hopefully it works. Great, it works. And we're going to say, so let's back up a second. What we're doing here is we're looking at the competition and we're seeing the keyword density. What keywords do they have in here? Like literal keywords, like what are they talking about? Because Google, I think, like Kyle Roof says, sees it as like a bag of words. Um, he was able to prove that theory. So why not um, extend it out to this concept? Uh, enrich anchor text throughout where necessary. Then say use these keywords throughout the article naturally as you see fit. All right, let's go up. It gave us all the white space. It's going to break if we don't take that out. Oh my goodness. Let's grab it here. Hopefully I can shift click. Good. Okay, let's see. And ChatGPT4 is slower than 3.5, but that's okay because the output is much better. So as it's going, I'm going to do a little commentary. It's done a really good job. Um, this is the first crack at it too. ChatGPT4 is really good. So Markdown gives us the headers immediately. I'd probably take out introduction. Um, let's just read it. Hey there, fellow chainsaw enthusiasts. As someone who's been in the wood woodworking game for quite a long time, I got a bit soft spot for all things chainsaws. The pros is really good, uh, really, really good. They're like the Formula One cars of the chainsaw world. Um, but as you might have noticed, these babies don't come cheap. Blah, blah, blah. In this article, I'll do this. And hey, if you're in the market for a top handle chainsaw and need some guidance, you can always check out this. It automatically embedded in rich anchor text your top line. Um, remember, the goal here is to point to the top line, um, the top, the five, ten best top handle chainsaws. And it can do that for us automatically. Um, so design and functionality of top handle chainsaws. Picture this. You're up a tree dangling from a harness. Blah, blah, blah. It's so good, super good. So this is how you create these downline articles here. Boom, 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 point them back up, tie them all together. This needs to link to this, needs to link to this. And then all of a sudden, you're gonna start competing more than you have ever before. Now I'm gonna show you one more trick, but before you do, listen, I'm trying to get to one trillion subscribers on this channel. Yes, I know there's only six billion, seven billion, how many billion people in the world right now? But I want one trillion subscribers. Um, help me on this quest. We could be the one trillion sub club. I even coined that. I just coined that term, the one uh, trillion sub club. So let's keep on going. But what was the trick I was speaking upon? Where was it? Where was that forum we saw? This. This is a great forum. So we found this by typing in the competitor research, I think. Was this the Google search we found it? Yes. Um, top handle. But then, was it that one? Where did we find it? Click back. 
No, we typed it in. Why are top handle chainsaws so expensive? And then I, I didn't even know an Arborist forum exists. But forums are so powerful for many reasons. So what we can do here is grab it. We can push it to the site explorer on hrefs. So in the meantime, ChatGPT4 is building down our article. I could continue this, but I think you get the point. Go in here and edit it, make it better. You can input URLs as many as you like. If we had, you know, other ones we wanted to include, you know, that's great. I'm going to ask it, um, did you include the keywords um, I requested? And let's see what it says in a minute. We'll jump back. Yes, I have. Okay, great. Tell me about it. Anyways, let's jump here. So the, the forums, forums are user-generated content. A blog that's done well can usually rank higher than them. So what we're going to do is look at this forum. We're going to see what organic keywords it is ranking for, right? And we're going to see if there's anything that we're interested in. Let's do keywords. It has, it contains chainsaw. Let's apply. Let's show results. I'm on now. Okay. And all of a sudden... All of a sudden, we find, you know, a grail long-term keyword. It's position one is Arborist site. Its volume is 900. Its keyword difficulty is zero. This is gold in the SEO space. Absolute gold. Bow bar chainsaw. All right. If you can have niche-specific, yeah, if you can have niche-specific forums, you need to, to jump on there and figure out the keywords. This is amazing. It really is. Bow bar, I don't even know what this is. What is the purpose of this? Can anyone tell me exactly what the purpose of, purpose of a bow bar? Um, they're apparently quite useful for maiming, maiming oneself. Well, there's 900 people a month typing that in. So there's a little trick for you. Um, computerist, you were asking, how do we do this? You use SEO tools and aspects just like we always did, um, always do. And you build out supporting um, phrases or documents, pages, whatever, to point to it. And then, as you work, you come across opportunities such as the forum. And then you press in further. And then you grow and grow and grow. Do not, do not, and I repeat, do not be someone who's just creating the top 10 best chainsaw thing. And you have 50 of these in a row. That's never going to work. You need, um, you need one money one, three downlines. You need a ratio in your mind. You know, is it 25% of your website in this case is going to be money um, pages? Is it even less? Because you can make money in a lot of different ways in this space. So I hope this video helps. Remember, join the One Trillion Sub Club. I have a lot of things going on. I have Bopple.com. Uh, I'll show you that quickly. Bopple.com is a website. Let's see here. Bopple.com is where we are creating a thousand blog posts. Hopefully, in a highly competitive niche of insurance, we created this at the beginning of the year. Um, you are either going to see me um, succeed or burn to the ground or somewhere in between, most likely. It's going to be a hard slog at it, um, but the, we're doing good. And then on top of that, I'm creating a piece of AI content generation and a master class. So the point is, make sure to join the one trillion, not one million, sub club. And that's yeah, pretty corny, but I like it. Then we'll go from there. See ya.